What's up, word nerds? It's Wednesday, March 8th, 2023. Welcome to Alphabento. My name's Lawrence, and I'm going to solve today's New York Times crossword. We've got one by Miranda Caney today. And if you want to follow along, you'll see the clues I'm looking at highlighted in blue uh, above the grid here and also in the list on the right. And there was a note to today's puzzle I saw as I opened it up. Note, the circled letters reading clockwise starting in box number four reveal what the answers to the nine italicized clues have in common. So there, this is obviously the theme of today's puzzle, um, but circled letters reading clockwise starting in box four. So that means we are, let me, let me scroll back down here. We are starting here at box four and reading these clockwise. So it'll be four, eight, this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here. And I guess here and then here and here. And then they, what? They reveal what the answers of the nine italicized clues have in common. All right, so let's uh, get into it. All right, I guess we'll see the italicized clues as we go. I see one there, but uh, we'll discover more as we go. Prefix for the green-minded is gonna be eco, great cleverness, not sure, junior hurdle, for short, P-S-A-T. Forever and a day, maybe eon, is this double E though? Their blood is toxic to humans. Eels? Him, him in French. Uh, uh, hmm. Sporty model. A coupe? One small red minced for crunch and tang. Don't know what that means. Okay, so that's our that's a themed entry right there. It's in italics. Wind or wind. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if these are correct. But I'm gonna move on. We'll come back to that. Great cleverness. Revelers at reunions. Alumni? Pilgrim at Mecca is the Hajj. How is that spelled again? Is it H-A-J-J or H-A-A-J? What's 12 down? Slightly open is a jar. There we go. Eight. That's my answer. Uh, ghostly apparition is a phantom. One teaspoon, pink or black for emphasis. Don't know. Baseballs, Martinez. TJ? T I don't know. Chester Arthur's middle name. Chester A. Arthur. Chester. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, wind. A half cup coarsely chopped for bright or soapy flavor. Add value to. In. I was going to say enlarge. In. Add value to. It could be inflate. Is coop wrong? Hmm. Smallville surname is Kent. Word with color or rhyme. Color or rhyme. Color scheme, rhyme scheme, maybe. Sidestep. In blank parentis, no idea. Noteworthy span. This could be an age or an era, maybe. American Pie Ride. A Chevy. Bye, bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the letter, but the letter levy was dry. Drove my Chevy to the levy, but the levy... That's what it is. Singer Donnie or Marie Osmond. Uh, I'm... I, is it spelled like that, or is this an E here? Osmond? I think it's like that? I'm not sure. They were before my time. I just know the names by sound. I'm not sure I know how to spell them. Sound at the doctor's office. Maybe ah, as in say ah. About two cups cubed after peeling. Okay, so this is another italicized one that I don't get. Pick up the tab. Pay. Uh, former Wyoming representative Liz Cheney was saying as i was saying cat calls muse 
maybe? Uh, money spent in Munich. Uh, Euros? Maybe? Serpentine. Snake? No. Serpentine. Winding? No. Serpentine. Hmm. Carry out? To go, maybe? Stat? It's not ASAP. Hmm. One seed in a mist for heat. No idea. Shade? A lot like lilac? Somewhat, maybe a bit or a tad. Saskatchewan's second largest city after Saskatoon. No idea. Soccer great ham. That's Mia. Phenomenon that may be dank or trending. Trending. Phenomenon that may be dank or trending. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. Marine fish, that's also the name of a hairstyle. Marine fish, that's also the name of a hairstyle. No, nope, don't know. Maybe it's your move. Kane's rosebud for one is a sled, maybe? Uh, brand for a butterfly expert, perhaps. Don't know what that means. Bill blocking vote is a nay, maybe? And then, okay, three cloves, uh, that's another themed one. So it's all like food related, like ingredients, which is interesting. I don't really know what that means. Uh, Kanjin inventor Eli Whitney, gist, the gist, sum? I feel like sum isn't quite exactly what gist means though. Apple for a teacher, maybe, iMac? Reverse a thumbs up for on Facebook. Unlike. Slink. Slink. Sidle? One teaspoon. Yeah, still don't know what that is. Okay, ish. Or so, maybe. Thus. And so. <laughs> couple of so's in there uh lunch that saves the day a hero talkative bird is a macaw very cool in slang is dope chew on gnaw on grand ice cream brand is edie's uh, it's a d there okay so sidestep was dodge okay that makes sense ruth bader ginsburg collar fabric lace from here to eternity setting, I guess Oahu. Uh, Moonstruck star share. So what was this? In loco parentis. Sure. Uh, panegyric poet. An Otist, maybe? F fabulous, fabulous? Aesop? Maybe? Um, Ursa Minor? No. after peeling and painting. This must be avocado, yes? Is this guacamole? What was the... What's the note here? This They reveal what the answers have in common. It's got to be guacamole. Look. Blank U-A O-L-E at the end. It's got to be guac uh mo -le. There we go. So there's avocado. Oh, it's all ingredients for for guacamole. Onion. This must be garlic. There we go. That makes sense. Great cleverness is genius. Body is maybe ribald. Just nub. I don't know. I don't get that, but sure. Uh, one teaspoon pink or black salt. Uh, this is cilantro here. Um, Chester Allen. This has got to be pilgrim. Oh, pilgrim, not pilgrimage. The Hajj is the pilgrimage. P 
pilgrim must be a a Haji, Haja. It's probably Tino Martinez, I think, or is it Tito Martinez? Tino. It must be Alan, so I'm I guess it's Tino. Okay, there we go. Uh, Asia Miner, Serpentine, Twisty. That's good. Talkative Bird, another talkative bird. I don't know this one. Stat, at once. I don't know this. Is it a Mina? I think a Mina is a bird, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's get the, let's get the cross, crossing here. One Vine Ripe, Chopped for texture and color. Tomato. Shade a lot like lilac. Is this mauve? Yes, this is cumin. Evita. And accommodating is easy. Yeah, it's mauve. And it was mina. Okay. Nice. One seeded or minced. Seeded and minced for heat. It's got to be a pepper, right? What kind of a pepper? Jalapeno? Yeah. Written for an instrumentalist, notated. Rocks out jams. Mouse with his own island in a Newberry Honor book. I guess it's Abel. I'm not familiar with this mouse or this book. One small juiced for citrus notes and to preserve color. That's got to be a lime. So dank meme or trending meme. Okay. Sure. I've never heard dank meme. Uh, they can make you sick. Germs. Rudely stare at is ogle. What was this? Build some muscle. Tone up. Saskatchewan. Second largest city. Yeah, still don't know that. Blank de la cité. Maybe eel? Uh, Nancy Drew's bow. I don't know. Marine fish. Uh, mullet. Brand for a butterfly expert is Speedo. And Ned, there it is. Boom, awesome. Uh, let's admire that. 80 days today. Let's admire that puzzle. Uh, guacamole is not a... I mean, I love guacamole. Love a good guac. Um, this theme for a puzzle theme, not really that exciting. Um, there's not even, like... There's no real reason why guacamole, like why it goes in a kind of clockwise order like this either, other than like, is it to evoke the, the action of mixing up guacamole, mashing and mixing up guacamole? Maybe that's what it's trying to do with putting it in the clockwise order like you're stirring it up um because these are like they're all the ingredients that would go in guacamole and then you would mash them up and mix them together um to make guacamole so maybe that's what it's going for but i don't know it's just kind of a weird theme it's still not a bad puzzle um like i love guacamole so it kind of makes me happy to have it in there but uh yeah I don't know. It's, um, I don't quite get this theme. It's like there's almost nothing to it other than just like, let's put a whole bunch of ingredients of guacamole in the puzzle and then circle some letters that also spell out guacamole. Uh, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like that hard of a theme to pull off, I guess, is what I'm saying. But maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. And I don't, obviously, I mean, who am I to, to to pick apart someone else's puzzles, really? Like, I can't even consistently make my own puzzles. So, uh, uh, still, a fun puzzle overall. Um, I think maybe Speedo is the, <laughs> the fun one in here uh, for a brand for a butterfly expert. Um, but, uh, yeah. I don't know, and um, I, I suppose maybe out of the theme, this is kind of the most interesting one because it, I think maybe most people don't put cumin in their guacamole, I guess. But I have done that before, and it is good. I I agree. 
I mean, cumin in almost anything is gonna, it's gonna spice it up. It's gonna, it's gonna give you that extra flavor that, ooh, I love some cumin. So, um, yeah, uh, I, I agree with including it in there. Um, ribald's an interesting word also. But, uh, yep, that's it. I don't know. Not too much to talk about today, I feel like. It's just, it just is what it is. Cat calls is good, too. Anyways, <laughs> that's it. I'll, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll see if tomorrow's theme is a little bit more interesting than today's. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Come back and say hello tomorrow, and I will see you then. But until then, that was Puzzle. Bye-bye.